Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connectivity issue with V Rising game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try this. So if Steam is open, on the top left here you can see Steam, click on it, then click on exit. And then once Steam is closed, again open Steam once again and then launch the game. Now the next step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game. Now the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time, make a right click on date and time then click, click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time automatically is on over here and in Windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically, make sure that is also on. In Windows 11 select the right time zone from here, this will be highlighted, select the right time zone and then click on sync now. Now once the sync is done, go to language and region and make sure right country is selected over here. Now launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you are using windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have windows 11, click on privacy and security. If you have windows 10, click on update and security and then click on windows security. Click on virus and threat protection, scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder, so in your case it may be in C drive, so select C drive, program files x86, then open steam folder, now open steam apps folder, now open the common folder, over here you will find the game folder, in my case it's in D drive. Steam folder, Steam apps, common, then open vRising folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game to Windows Firewall. For this type in control panel in Windows search box then click on control panel. Now click on system and security, click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now cl click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top. Now click on allow another app. Now go to the game installation folder. Open Steam folder, Steam, Steam apps, then common, then vRising folder. And then select the game exe file and then click on open. And then click on add. In my case this is already added. Now again click on browse and this time open vRising server and then select vRising server.exe and then click on open then click on add in my case this is already added. Now once this is added click on ok and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run this command, this command is provided in the video description. So type in cmd in windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command, hit the enter key. Now once done, launch the game. Next step is to disable manual proxy. For this go to the start menu and then click on settings. Network and internet. Proxy and make sure manual proxy is turned off. Now the next step is to run network troubleshooter. For this go to the start menu and then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on system and once you click on system you will find troubleshooting. So select system and scroll down you will find troubleshoot, click on troubleshoot. In Windows 11, uh, 10, click on update and security then click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooter or other troubleshooters and then find network adapter and then in Windows 11 in front of it you will find three dots, click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter. In Windows 10, click on it, then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run these commands, these commands are provided in the video description. 
So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all the commands one by one. All the commands are provided in the video description. So paste all the command one by one, hit the enter key. Now after this, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because after the network reset, when you try to connect over here, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. Now for this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on network and internet. And in Windows 11, click on Advanced Network Settings and then you will see Network Reset. So click on Network Reset, click on Reset now, click on Yes, this will restart your computer. And after the system restart, click on the Wi-Fi icon and then click on Connect. It will be asking for your password, enter the password and then connect. Now the next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have different networks, so if you own any other network, try to connect to different network and then check. Now the next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, use Ethernet connection and then check the performance. Now the next step is to update your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So make sure that your Windows is up to date. So go to the start menu, click on settings, click on update and security and then click on check for update and after the update restart your computer and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to improve the connect connectivity issue. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.